How's it people? It's Tuesday afternoon and we've been hard at it in the granary. Uh, where are we at? We've got the curved walls in on all the apertures. Look absolutely amazing. Credit to Adam for that one. He's done a phenomenal job. Um, as I said before, not particularly easy. There's no set way of doing it really because of what we were working with. Quite time consuming, but I think you can probably see already it's going to look absolutely phenomenal. Same with the oak beams and stuff. You know, it's a bit, a bit of extra effort, but it's just going to look absolutely class rather than just a square box. We've got the internal wall in, oak beam above, got really nice uh, rebated oak door line to go in there. Uh, what else? We have got separate little room all built in there, a little mezzanine. So yeah, just been all systems go. We are leaving here next Friday. So we're just really putting the effort in, trying to push it on to make sure my aim was to get everything all plasterboard, to get as far as we can get it before plasterer comes in. So yeah, we're just really cracking into it just to make sure we can leave it as good as possible. Um, this wasn't actually our job originally, but um, because of various reasons and circumstances, we kind of jumped in just to help it along a bit. So um, yeah, I think we've done a fairly good job of that. Uh, a few bits been going on in the background at the cottage, but um, yeah, I'll let you know about that when I get back there. It's Tuesday evening. I have just got back to the cottage for a quick pit stop. It's about 8.30, I think. Um, just been to Par Signs. Matt at Par Signs very kindly stayed on after work to get the sign writing done. Um, he must love me because obviously it's the second time I've been there in a few months. I have, even though I only own one lorry now. Uh, what else? Elliot Nectar Electrical has just phoned me. He's just been out to the granary. Um, again, came in after work to make sure he could push it on and get it done. It's just, I love working with great people who don't mind putting in the extra effort. The Wessex Water have been out here. Water is now connected, all flowing like it should. Got water up at the chicken shed, which means Tom the plumber can now eventually get in there. I had to put him off once, which is really frustrating because he's a busy boy and always very booked up, booked up but he's coming in next Thursday. Um, what else, what else, what else? Currently working on SAPS calculations, all very boring for insulation. For the extension, going to see the artist formerly known as Bake, Bakesy. I was around there late, late, late last night, trying to work out some of the details on the chicken shed, things like taps and shower, um, what we're doing, because we're doing something really quite alternative. It's quite tricky trying to get the right style of stuff. Need all, I want all of that here by next Thursday. So actually physically all the taps and showers here. So when Tom the plumber gets here, or not plumber, um, heating engineer, he prefers to be called. Uh, so when he gets here, I've got the actual product to say, right, that's got to go there. That's the sizes, that's how it's going to look. That's where it's going to fit. Just to kind of try and reduce any error or questions so yeah all systems go another late night but we're pushing through it after the last few weeks of hell sometimes you just gotta dust yourself off and uh get back on it it's half 12 at night and i've just got home having spent the last three or four hours at baker's place both of us and Charles just scouring the internet, staring at showers, taps, and shower screens, completely unable to find what we're looking for, and need to have it here by next Thursday. Just about given up, went back to the car and found exactly what we're looking for on eBay. So, fingers crossed, should be able to get it sorted. Um, something completely different, gonna look really, really cool, really funky, and not gonna tell you what it is, so wait and see. It's Thursday morning, um, early, 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 just before I go off to the granary. Currently operating on about 
two hours sleep because I decided to go to Winchester last night like you do. But just had Mark the joiner out. Um, absolutely excellent guy has come out and brought me some positive news after the last few weeks of utter hell. Uh, things are looking positive again and I've left the pity party and got some gratitude back in my life. And he's turned up with windows. Um, so these are eventually, not for a while yet, going to go in the front and it's going to transform it. It's going to look absolutely phenomenal. Going to completely change the look of it and much so for the better. Um, so yeah, cannot wait to get those in. I can't remember if I said or not, but we've got the mains water all connected. So that's a huge milestone. Just trying to get everything lined up and prepared. Uh, we're at the granary till next Friday. So we've got mental amount to try and get done there. I just really want to get it up to a decent stage. I'm not going to kind of leave it anything half done. Um, so yeah, pricing loads of work as well in the evenings. All systems go again. Things are looking positive and cannot wait to get back here. It's Friday afternoon, end of a seriously hectic but fairly positive week. Uh, just in the granary finishing up. Got all the room down there, insulate on the top and flooring up there and all that there. Um, Elliot from Nectar Electrical has been in. Got most of his bits done. Got the door lining, still need fixing, but um, yeah, black down, Glynn at black down, Shepherd Huts machined them all up for us and then we've just assembled them. Just something a bit different, really nice little touch and we'll make it all look absolutely stunning. Got a stupendously hectic weekend ahead uh, back at the cottage. We are getting the ceiling sorted in the chicken shed and working through the log mountain, but um, I'll probably stick a bit on video next week. And just want to say thank you very much for everyone who's been in touch and thanks for subscribing, liking, sharing, all those wonderful things you do. If you've got any questions, please fire away. Have a good weekend. Bye.